The 50-20-30 budgeting rule you should know. In her book, All Your Worth, The Ultimate Lifetime Money Plan, Senator Elizabeth Warren brought widespread attention to the so-called 50-20-30 budget rule. This rule is also occasionally written as 50-30-20. The general guideline is to divide income earned after taxes and assign it to spend as follows. 50% on necessities, 30% on luxuries, and 20% on savings. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the 50-20-30 budgeting rule, which you should know. Oh, yeah, you heard it right, so let's start our video. The 50-20-30 budget rule, also written as 50-30-20, is an easy to understand and straightforward method that can assist individuals in reaching their monetary objectives. According to the rule, you should spend up to 50% of your income left over after taxes on necessities and commitments that are required of you at all times. The remaining half of the money should be allocated, 20% should go toward savings and paying down debt, and 30% should go toward everything else you want. The rule provides a framework for individuals to manage their finances better and and preserve money for unexpected expenses in retirement. 50% is needs. Needs are things that are required for survival and include things like the expenses that you have no choice but to pay immediately. These include the monthly payment for the rent or mortgage, the payment for the car, the groceries, the insurance, the minimum payment on the loan, and the utilities. These are your can't live without items. Items considered luxuries such as HBO, Netflix, Starbucks, and eating out are not included in the needs category of expenses. You should be able to meet all your requirements and commitments with just 50% of the money left after taxes. If you're spending more than that on your necessities, you will need to either reduce the amount you spend on your wants or try to downsize your lifestyle by moving into a less expensive home or purchasing a vehicle with less space and features. It's possible that commuting to work by carpooling, utilizing public transit, or simply preparing more meals at home could be the answer. 30% is wants. The term wants refers to all the things you spend money on that are not completely necessary. This includes going out to dinner and the movies, purchasing that new purse, going to athletic events, going on vacation, purchasing the newest electronic device, and using the internet at an extremely high speed. When you get down to it, everything in the wants bucket is up for grabs. You can save money by working out at home rather than going to the gym, eating at home rather than dining out, or watching sports on TV rather than purchasing tickets to attend the game. This category also includes the decisions you make regarding upgrades, such as selecting a more expensive steak rather than a hamburger with a lower price tag, purchasing a Mercedes rather than a Honda with better gas mileage, or deciding to watch television for free with an antenna, or pay money to subscribe to cable television service. In the most basic sense, wants are the luxuries and diversions that can be purchased without additional funds to enhance one's quality of life. If you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet to show us your support. Now let's continue. 20% is savings. Finally, it would help if you aim to save and invest 20% of your disposable income. Savings accounts, individual retirement accounts, and the stock market are all viable options for this purpose. If you lose your work or something unforeseen happens, you should have enough money to last you for at least three months. Your next financial priority should be saving for retirement and other long-term goals. If an emergency fund is depleted, any new monies should go directly toward restocking the fund. Paying off debt is another option for saving. In contrast to the needs category that minimum payments fall under, the savings category includes any payments made more than the minimum that reduces the principal and future interest owed. Importance of Savings if we take an example of the United States, it has a lot of debt because Americans are famously terrible savers. Credit card debt alone accounts for $756 billion of the $14.9 trillion in total debt owed by Americans as of the third quarter of 2020. In January 2022, individuals could put away 6.4% of their income. The 50-20-30 rule is a guideline for allocating one's after-tax income with the primary goals of saving for retirement and maintaining a financial cushion in the event of an unexpected expense. Building an emergency fund is important for every family in case of job loss, illness, or other sudden financial need. If a family uses up its emergency fund, its top priority should be to put money back into it. Considering that people are living longer, it is essential to save money for retirement. It's important to plan for retirement by estimating your expenses and starting to save early in life. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this one was. I really hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos just like this one, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give us comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more interesting facts and stories. And until then, stay tuned.